Well, hey there, and how are you today? We are going to review the BMR 1959 doll. Um, I don't remember what she is called, but from this picture, you can see what's inside. I know I've mentioned before, but I really love the boxes for the Barbie 1959 line. I think they're just fantastic, and I do use them as artwork here in my office. They do not go to waste. So, let's get started, shall we? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's show you more of the box. Because the box is super cool. So, you have the artwork here. Fantastic artwork. Over here, it talks about the BMR 1959 line. It's been, you know, it's the 60th anniversary of Barbie. Generalized stuff on the back, you know. And, and as you can see, it looks like a shoebox. Super cool, huh? <laughs> it is, it's, it's, it's awesome. So anyway, when we open it up, we have this tissue inside, which is a lovely little detail as well. And then you pull back the tissue, and then you have the, the colored background here, and there is the doll displayed right in there. And I'm excited to break this doll out of there, so bear with me. And now I have her out of the box. As you can see, she comes with a stand, and it says BMR 1959 pretty cool I think and she comes with a certificate definitely I like certificates so yeah I'm happy with that and now here is the doll so she is a dark doll medium height and she's curvy I like having some curvy dolls I can't help it I, they're a lot of fun to dress unless okay I'm gonna say what I'm not supposed to say probably I hate the way they have her dressed for this. I um, I don't know very many curvy girls that intentionally make themselves look dumpy. Sorry to people out there who think it's a fine look. I apologize. I don't think it's so fine. She's, you know, but let's take a peek anyway. I might change my mind as I look at the stuff. I mean, I do think that the jacket is cute. I do. I like the jacket. It's it's a neat jacket. So, you know, I and honestly I, I love having more jackets for, for the doll, so you know. So stick it close. So the, the jacket is the clear like plastic, like a raincoat, and of course it says BMR nineteen fifty nine does not have any pockets but it is like an oversized jacket and I can appreciate that you know wearing a bigger coat I can and it's it is a neat look it is I I won't lie it, it's it's neat and now the dress itself the pattern I can live with the pattern I can if the pattern isn't bad it's the colors are vibrant which I'm glad for her so it has you know it's diff various colors of roses and then she has the ruffle around the edge I mean, if it was a little more snug, maybe. Maybe I could just bring it in and that will make it look like a dress this lady deserves to wear, right? Because, come on, she's cute. And it does have a hood, which, um, yeah, which is, a neat, which is a neat idea. And it's a pull-on and off dress. She's also wearing gold boots with some kind of chunky heels with a lace pattern. The boots are all right. And now let's take her off the stand so we can get a better look at this girl. So, here we go. So her hair is in a high ponytail. And as you can see, I think you can see that it's wrapped. The hair is wrapped around the ponytail, which is very nice. And it has this little curl at the end. The hair feels good. It, um, surprisingly, I thought it was going to be full of product to keep that little curl. But it isn't so it feels really soft and silky she's wearing these long earrings which yeah okay she's got these little little sun you know eyeglasses and you see the little the little baby hairs around the edge here i <laughs> oh that i think they add a lot to to the face now she has brown eyes and it's actually a really nice um coloring on those eyes there's a lot of there's a few different colors in them i don't know if you can see that 
She has styled eyebrows. This lady takes care of herself. And her lipstick. Okay, you know, in person, her lipstick looks a lot better. I do not know what color it's coming up on on the camera. But it always looks purple to me whenever I see it. And I was like, well, as soon as I get that doll, I'm changing that lipstick. But seeing it like this, though, it is not purple. It's a, it's a darker color. And it's actually a nice color. Okay, it's... I, I will not be changing the lipstick. I like the lipstick. Her fingernails are painted kind of a, a yellow color, which I think is nice. And this doll has, she is an articulated um, Barbie, which I always like, okay? So she can turn her head from side to side, front, uh, back and front, okay? <laughs> she can, her arms can go up to the side, down, front, back, all the way up to the top. She can bend her elbows. And remember, I just got her out of the box, so let's see. I'm supposed to be able to bend all the way. There we go. So it can bend all the way. Her hands are articulated, so you can move it all around, and which is nice because you can, they can even touch their face. You can hold a phone, which I don't have my dolls hold the phone very often, but I appreciate why that's a nice idea. So her upper body can move side to side, back a bit and forward a bit, not as much on the curvy dolls though. The legs though can move around this way, front and back, off to the side. The knee bends all the way back. And we have an articulated ankle. So she can wear flat shoes and high heels. And look at, oh, she's got curves. See, she's got some ba ba boom. I like this girl. But I think we need to give her, well, let's just give her a photo shoot. I don't think she needs an actual makeover. Her, her, her high ponytail is kind of a change of pace from most of my other dolls that do not have high ponytail. So I'm, she's just going to keep that. But let's try on some other outfits and see if we can let this girl show what she's about. I found a um, package, a fashion pack that I hadn't opened yet. So I think I'm going to have our girl model these clothes that haven't been worn by any other Barbies yet. I hope you enjoyed the photo shoot for this Barbie for this Barbie 1959 doll. I had fun trying on the different clothes. Honestly, I think this was my favorite outfit out of all the ones that she had on though. I like this one the best. I thought it looked super cute on her. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what which one you like best. But for now, I think I'm going to keep her in this because it just it's just pretty on her. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you had fun. Um, maybe you can go out and find this doll and give her a home in your collection as well. Anyway, have a great day. Stay safe. Stay happy. If you like my this video, <laughs> yes, I can talk. I can. Not today, apparently, but I can. If you like this video, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. And um, like I said, comment down below. Tell me what you thought as long as it's kind of nice. So anyway, thank you very much, and goodbye!